there are growing concerns over safety at Morgan State University as several students are the victims of brazen robberies along the campus border. Police say it is part of an uptick in robberies throughout the Northeast District as a whole. Fox 45's Keith Daniels spoke with students and police and joins us live now with the latest. Keith. Well, Kai and Mary, the university's president says he's already met with the police commanders here in the Northeast District. BPD has already stepped up patrols, and tonight, that's comforting news for students. At Morgan State University, a security alert for students detailed in an email obtained by Fox 45 News. University President Dr. David Wilson telling students Wednesday about a recent rash of daylight robberies near campus with at least three students victims. School officials say in one incident, the suspect pulled a gun on the victim, then robbed them. Unnerving moments, but they say in all of the incidents involving students, no one was hurt. The latest incident just before 7 p.m. Tuesday on Hillen Road near Argonne Drive. The other robberies last Thursday morning at about 8.30 on Cold Spring Lane and Friday morning at 10, also on Hillen Road. Word of the crimes spreading. It's horrifying. I mean, that's, it's your, when you're in those types of positions, it's just like you think in that moment, I could really die over somebody trying to get something from me. It's definitely something concerning just because usually people are walking to and from campus. Like it's people walking around the area, getting food, stuff like that. Uh, between classes. So yeah, it's it's pretty concerning. According to Open Baltimore, crime data that police provide to the city, at last report, there were 11 robberies in seven days in the Northeast District, which includes Morgan State University. 168 robberies total in the area, year to date, up to May 6th. Upon learning of the increased number of robberies and the student victims, Wilson says he's taken immediate action, including asking BPD to increase patrols of marked vehicles around campus. Campus police will increase patrols and maintain presence in the area where the crimes happened, and there will be an increase of visibility and positioning of security personnel along the busy path to the campus. I found it a very comforting response knowing that President Wilson is taking, is putting the steps forward to protect our students and not just the students, the community as a whole. Well, we're told city police are working with campus police to catch those offenders, including reviewing surveillance footage from cameras that were already installed around campus. We're live now in Northeast Baltimore, Keith Daniels, Fox 45 News. Keith, thank you. A growing concern over the Baltimore Police Department's clearance rate. During a public safety hearing yesterday, BPD leaders said this year's homicide clearance rate is about 40 percent, meaning there is a 60 percent chance someone will get away with murder in Baltimore City. Last year, homicide detectives cleared just 36 percent of cases. The national average is over 57 percent. The clearance rates are important because a cleared homicide means that you've identified an offender and uh, and that they are likely to be, you know, indicted, charged, taken to trial. They're likely to be punished. They're likely to go to prison for committing that homicide. It's very frustrating for crime victims, for their families, um, as well as for uh, law enforcement and for the community in general. As for non-fatal shootings, the clearance rate is even lower. It's at 28 percent compared to 27 percent last year. I'm Mary Bubala. Thank you for watching. Here's another video for you to watch. Also take some time to subscribe to our YouTube channel.